Welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. I am super excited today to bring you guys an installation guide on Comfy UI. Now, this is just for the Mac. If you guys want to see Automatic 11, Face Fusion, or Swarm UI, please let me know. They're already on the channel. They should be up already by the time you see this video. This is the very last one that I'm doing. And I am going to be using this website. I'll give you guys a link to it as well in the description below if for some reason i forgot it please do remind me i'll give it i'll make sure this is the best and the only one that i have come across that works okay uh, i have tried a few they don't don't work so first of all i'll go in here now if you haven't installed homebrew you need to install homebrew and you do that by doing this but then there, there's once it finishes it make sure there's like you read the last like i think six lines and it says something there that you should copy this and paste it and once you do that that correctly installs it okay prior to that it is not installing it correctly so after you've installed it i want you to guys so that that's in terminal so you go into terminal and what I want you guys to do is before you install homebrew and things like that, what I want you guys to do is make a folder where you guys want everything in. So for example, for myself, I would call a folder called Koya and everything is in there. In there. So I've got Comfy UI, I've got Phase Fusion, I've got Stable Diffusion and everything that's this sort of stuff. It's in here for me. Now, once you go into that folder i want you to then install homebrew from there you don't have to but it's i like to do it in there then what i want you to do is copy the second line where it says install the required packages copy it and what you want to do is go command v or if you're using a windows keyboard windows v and it has all that on there so what i want you to do is just click enter and it should install everything for you after you've done that what i want you to do is then copy all this stuff in here so you copy that and copy that in the koya one and it should give you the comfy ui folder so if you go into comfy ui folder after that you can go and check everything so it clones it, it from the repository in github so after you've done that now you need to actually install it so to install it first you go into comfy comfy ui so we are already in here so cd comfy ui i went in there then what you want to do is set up a virtual environment by copying this command so you command copy and then you go in here and paste it after you've created that you need to install pytorch in the virtual environment so what you do is then copy this i have tried direct it just doesn't work so you copy that paste it it runs it then you after it's finished it then you install the requirements after you've done that you might need some models i have a lot of models and let me know by the way if you guys want to know how to share because i am not going to have like stable diffusion and comfy ui have the same models because they use the same models and the same control net models and all this and they're quite huge one model can be up to six gigs and now that flux is out the, those are like 24 gigs so they're quite huge so let me know if you guys have issues with that and i can tell you how to link them and they use the same folder so uh, my comfy ui right now is using all the models that are stored in stable diffusion and the reason i use comfy ui is just with the workflow it gives you a lot of flexibility and it's lightweight and it gives you a lot of control that automatic 11 has and automatic 11 is quite user friendly compared to comfy ui once it, it's, it's a bit easier to use in my suggestion but once you get used to comfy ui it's not that difficult it can be daunting in the start anyways after you've installed it and it it needs to be installed here and it it can be installed from there but you can go to if you want to know like you can go to civic ai and you can go here go to featured models and if you want a suggestion uh these are by the way flux ones so these are all flux they're going to be huge 
but these are LORAs, okay? So they're not actual checkpoints. This is a checkpoint, okay? So you need to download some checkpoints, okay? And what you can do is go just go into Models tab over here. You don't have to use Civit AI. You can download it from anywhere else if you want. I'm just telling you guys that this is the one if you're really, really new at this stuff. And what you can do is you can go one of my fa favorite models, Albedo XL, okay? Albedo Base XL. This is one of my favorite models. It gives really, really good pictures for my case and especially what I wanted to do. So you can download it, click on download and it'll start downloading it. And what you need to do is you need to go into your stable diffusion folder if you're going to do what I am doing. Otherwise, you'll need to actually go into Comfy UI and then put it in your models folder, okay, under checkpoints. So once you've downloaded it, it'll most likely go into your downloads folder. You need to copy it in here for it to work. Okay, so after you've done all this, what you need to do is start it. So every time you have to start it, you need to put in all of this. So you need to go back into the virtual environment and then start it. And if you want to update it, you just go git pull in there. So for example, I am in the Comfy UI folder and I just go git pull and it just checks everything, updates everything, whatever it needs. Yours might be as quick or a bit slower, depending on your internet. My internet is really good and I have updated recently. So then what you do is just copy this and then you paste it in there and then hit enter. And that's basically it. That's how simple it is. I know it will be daunting for you to do. Please play around with it. It's not that hard. Message me, comment below. I'll try and get to them. I run two channels. I've got family life. I have a full-time career that I, that I have. And it makes it a bit hard to get to all the queries, but I will try my best. Or somebody from the community might be able to help you out. So I am right now I'm using a workflow that I use for instant ID. Okay. And it's a in-depth workflow where I, it uses. So it uses a photo, then it uses my prompt. Then it uses my prompt positive and negative and it uses whatever checkpoint I have and then it uses the posture and then it spits out the image. So for example, I'll go back into Comfy UI and what I'll do is I've got a workflow folder. You can have this anyway. It doesn't need to be in Comfy UI. I just have it there just in case if I want to get rid of Comfy UI one day, I know exactly where it is. So. This is my XDXL one, my very first XDXL model that I had. So this is this is what it is. And it's basically very simple. So what you do is you load your model, whatever you want. So let's use Flux because Flux is the all the rave and rage these days. Running running in the Olympics, water text mark, don't want it. And yeah, that sounds about right. So I want it in portrait mode and just seed value, randomized, randomized. I'll set the steps to 40 because this is going to take forever to generate. And I will actually, I won't do flux because that's going to just absolutely kill my P uh, computer. I'll just do my favorite one and 40 and I'll give this a five the steps uh, is 40 I like the GPU one crackers yep all right sounds about right and then just cue it so immediately when it's working it goes right up there but I'm not going to play around with it because it's going to get really loud in the mic so I'm going to just let it run. So it shows you here. This is where it shows you where it's at. And you can also go into terminal and actually check what it's doing. Okay. As you can see, I'm not the best prompter. Just had a random prompt. And probably one more thing you want to add is not safe for work. Okay. Nudes, things like that. So just to 
save yourself some embarrassment in front of the family and friends but this is obviously too late so if i the good thing about this is you can actually cue your prompt as well so if i've put this now and i press q the second photo that it'll start generating after this one look at that 91 and the fans have kicked in okay so the second photo that it'll start working on that will not have nudes okay hopefully this wouldn't have nude i don't want to get demonetized and boom there you go all right so that's that's the photo it generated a bit funny legs the legs are a bit funny over here but overall it's not too bad and the eyes are really dead as well but that's what how comfy ui works and i'll show you guys how to shut it properly as well so i'll go in here and then you can do control c all right so it stops it then exit and that's basically it pretty simple straightforward let me know if you guys have any issues or if you guys need a hand with anything if you guys need a hand with anything i'll most certainly try to help you guys but that's but that's basically it. this website really helped me out selecting and not only that like it actually goes into detail on how to create images sharing models that how to share it i can make a video on that but you can do it from here as well thank you for watching it to the end take good care bye bye